Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. If you're new here, hi, I'm Alicia and I love all things creepy, Halloween and SFX. So if you're wanting a good tutorial, then my channel is the one for you. So I created this awesome skull look. I was so impressed with how it turned out. It looks quite gothic, but pretty at the same time. I think I'm definitely gonna do this for Halloween. So you don't need to start off with makeup done. I just did some stuff in the day that's already had makeup on, but um, I'm starting off with this white paint and painting my face. By the way, if you haven't already, then please subscribe to my channel. It means so much and I upload every Monday and YouTube shorts every day. Um, and like I said, if you want any Halloween inspo, then my channel is the one for you. <laughs> so now I take this Body Effects palette after I paint my face, neck and chest and I just set that white paint don't do what I did and dip it in black accidentally you just want to cover over that if you do do that so I just set the white paint with white eyeshadow um, everywhere with a small fluffy brush and then I'm taking this liquid liner from body effects to trace out the eye circles um, so all of the products that I'm using are mostly from body effects this is a New Zealand um, special effects store they do like paints and makeup um, and prosthetics liquid latex, fake blood, everything, everything that you need um, for a cool creative look is on body effects. Um, so I'm just tracing out the eyes and these little like lines. Um, you can just follow along slowly with what I do. And then I draw a rose on my forehead. This is like the first time or maybe the second time I've ever drawn a rose. So I took my time. I just pulled up a cartoon rose on Google images and kind of followed through with it. Um, you don't want to make this too big or too small um, but my mum was actually the one who gave me inspiration to do flowers on the skull look I don't think I've really seen anyone do a black and white skull with roses um, but mum showed me the skull look with like roses on um, their head it was like what they saw on the cruise ship that they went on um, it was like an animation image um, on the screen and yeah mum gave me this idea so I'm so glad um, I'm just drawing in the leaves and yeah just drawing some leaves and some lines up here you kind of just have to like follow along with what I'm doing and then I'm drawing this vine with some thorns it's funny because I got inspired like this little part off of my best friend Cass who has a tattoo on her arm and it's like three roses with some vines with some like thorns so I don't know, I just thought of her tattoo when I was drawing this rose and I decided to do some thorns um, down the side. Um, so now I'm doing the nose and I'm just doing a really pointy nose. Um, and yeah, I don't know, you just kind of have to follow with what I'm doing because it's hard to like explain everything. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing the teeth, drawing a line up the mouth and with the teeth, um, you don't want to do them like too pointy or too square like. Kind of give them a roundish edge at the end. Then I'm drawing in the jawline and the bottom teeth. So you just want to do the teeth on the other side and then the bottom teeth. Follow the lines um, exactly opposite the top teeth so they're all nice and even. And then I fill in the middle part with the liquid liner. Honestly, this liquid liner is so good. It is so pigmented and I drew on top of paint and it still isn't like running out. So now I'm doing this big line down the jaw and then I'm attempting some roses down on my chest. Um, I'm doing these ones a little bit bigger than the one on the forehead obviously because it's um, a chest. Um, and I kind of wish that I did three roses down here on my chest um, but I could only fit in two. Um, so yeah, and I did some leaves and just did some lines. Honestly, it was so hard for me because I was going to do these roses red, like shade them in red and black and do the leaves green. And then I was like, oh, I don't know, like that's going to contrast. I know lots against the white, but then I kind of liked just what all white and black looks like. So I just kept them white and black. Honestly, that was my biggest challenge for this makeup look was whether to color these in red and green. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I did it because I like the way that they turned out. So I'm just doing some more vines with the thorns on either side and going down. Um, so yeah, I just thought I needed some more detail. And I actually was really impressed with how my roses looked because, yeah, like I said, I've only drawn a rose like once before. So now I'm taking this Face Paint Rainbow Palette by Body FX and this black paint shade so this is all water activated paint so you literally just dip your paintbrush in the paint and yeah 
and the more you swirl it around in the paint, the more pigmented it gets. It's like watercolors almost. So I'm just filling in the eye sockets, like three layers, making it super dark, the nose and the jaw. And these paints acted like a good eyeshadow almost because you could dip it in the paint to make it darker and then as you kind of went along it went lighter. As you can see here, it's kind of like fading out as I get towards the teeth. Um, and I just darken that later. So I do the jaw line, making it nice and crisp and these little like temple bits on the side. If you need a reference, you can reference a skull look as well, but obviously because I'm doing this tutorial, you can just kind of copy with what I'm doing. So now I'm darkening everything, so I'm just going over those teeth again, and now I'm taking this black eyeliner and doing my tight line so it is nice and dark. And then because my lashes were like full of paint, I took this mascara. This is my favorite one at the moment, the Rimmel Kind and Free Mascara. There's no nasties in it. It's vegan, cruelty-free, all that good stuff. Um, so now I'm darkening that black even more with the black eyeshadow. I kind of wish I did this again or made the lines like even darker like on the roses, but that's the only thing that I would do to improve this look would be to make everything like even more black to make it really stand out. So now I'm taking a small brush and I'm drawing lines. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping it in the black eyeshadow from that same eyeshadow palette and just starting to draw off some lines. So this will be my guideline to where I do like my smudging, my fading kind of thing. And I haven't really done a look like this where I'm working with shading. Did I say fading? I meant shading. <laughs> so I'm kind of drawing lines all around like the eyes and the little cracks that I did. Um, and just drawing a line. I'm not dipping it in the black eyeshadow again. I'm just kind of smudging it out from that dark line that I did, as you can see here. Um, just kind of blending it out. And it looks really hard, but just dip a little bit of eyeshadow and then just keep blending in the eyeshadow on the paint like underneath will kind of like help to blend the eyeshadow. So I'm just going around all the cracks and all the details as you can see here. Um, and I think it started to look really cool. I was like really impressed. And it's funny because most of my looks start out really bad or like keep not looking great until nearly the end. But this look actually looked cool like from the beginning to the end. So, like I even liked it like this without the roses shaded in. And I was going to keep it like this. Um, but yeah. So now I'm doing around the forehead, just drawing around an edge. And then I ended up um, painting my hair later. So shading in the top of the forehead and then I go and darken all the lines on the face and I'm doing this collarbone kind of detail because I was like, okay, this body needs something. Like I said, I should have done like three roses, but I think the two roses actually look really cool. Um, but yeah, I still probably would have done three ro roses. It just would have taken way longer. So I'm using my finger to blend out that collarbone and then I'm shading in all the flowers. So you're probably like, oh my God, shading flowers like this is going to be so hard. Honestly, all I did was took the black eyeshadow and just like filled it all in, but not all of it. Like I kind of just went around the edges and left the centers of everything white, if that makes sense. Like it didn't really shade anything. It looks like I shaded it though. Um, so yeah, just going around the edges with the black. Oh my God, I'm yawning. It is like nearly 10.30 right now, but this is the dedication I have to my Halloween videos. Um, and I'm actually going away on the weekend with Matthew. We're doing a little staycation at Trinity, Trinity Wharf. No, no, I can't even speak. Trinity Wharf Hotel in Tauranga. We're having like a little date weekend away. So it's going to be really fun. So I had no time to do this on the weekend. So I'm working on this late on a Friday night. Dedication girl. And that's how you're going to achieve your dreams. Hard work. Dedication motivation honestly I've been doing this for like eight years and everyone's like how do you have so much effort to be consistent and put all this work in but look where it's taken me <laughs> so now i'm taking the white paint from my body effects um palette and i'm shading in the teeth i'm just doing like one highlight side on um one side of the teeth which i really liked it really made them pop and stand out and i do this on the top as well and now i'm taking the spike studs kit from Spotlight and this Body Effects Liquid Latex. Um, this was quite hard, like you really have to pack on the latex and really hold it on for like a minute per stud, even though it looks like I'm going really fast here. I had to really hold them on. So the studs, like the idea of the spikes was inspired by Gabrielle XX, I'll leave her username um, 
down below my description. Um, I got inspired by her, by, yeah, the little spikes. I thought it looked really badass. Um, so now I'm spraying my hair. I always do this for my like creepy looks. It just adds to the like evil vibe. And I'm taking this black paint from the Kryolan um, Super Color palette. Um, and I'm just painting my hair. And when I did this, I was like, oh my God, this better come out. Cause I've never really put black paint like this through my hair, <laughs> but it did. It just took like three washes. Um, so I'm just using a sponge and painting my hair. You always have to do your hair because honestly, I feel like it makes such a difference to an overall look. And I wasn't going to do this, but I'm glad I did. I decided to do paint drips down my neck. I always used to do this for my makeup looks, like either crying tears or something. And I was going to do tears on the skull. And when I look at it now, it probably would have looked cool if I did it, but I didn't want it to look too busy. I wanted it to look kind of like simple, but effective. It's not that simple, but yeah, I think it would have been too much if I did tears down my eyes. So yeah, I'm kind of just drawing that different lengths down my chest and kind of fading it out at the bottom. And look what I made. Oh my goodness. I bought this black suede like ribbon. It's not really ribbon. It's like suede material from Spotlight and hot glue gunned on these spikes. And I thought it looked so freaking cool. Um, there's this guy on Instagram. I got inspired by his like little spike necklace that he made. I'll also link him down below. Um, he made this really cool badass necklace and I wanted to make one and it added with the effect So now I'm taking these contact lenses from lens me. They're called white mesh. Um, it's a worldwide Company they do all sorts of contact lenses and I think they made the look super cool and super creepy Honestly contacts make such a difference. So I hope you guys like this look if you did please give it a big thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you want to see next um, I would love to hear your recommendations and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye